guys, welcome to another, this is a slasher one, a drum mission instructional plus a drum mission drum cover. I'm covering Make Me Smile from the band Chicago with uh, Danny Serafine on drums. Uh, in the first couple of minutes we have the tutorial of the four bar solo that's at the end of Make Me Smile which has just become so much bigger than even Danny thought it would be I think when he created it and he is the one that said when he created it he wanted it to be a little bit of Buddy Rich, a little Gene Krupa and of course a little Danny Seraphine. and it's a solo that so many have either taught or emulated uh, and so I'm throwing my hat in the ring I'm doing my uh, tutorial on it and I go pretty ver pretty much verbatim and then I got lucky and found a version on the internet the internet is wonderful sometimes of make me smile without drums and I do my interpretation of make me smile uh, I pretty much follow all the big things that Danny did there's a couple things that I just do my way um, I'm gonna actually send this to Danny I hope he likes it um, and maybe maybe if a lot of you guys watch it I'll get him to come on for an interview and not an interview like uh, like uh, about all that Chicago stuff but he's he said that ad nausea so what I'd rather do is talk about his drum tunings so, some of the ways he used doubles all that kind of stuff that you don't hear the other guys talk about a much more technical interview anyway and like short 10 15 minutes anyway Danny I hope you like it uh, I'm gonna link this to you send it to you in, in uh, messages anyway enjoy the video all right everybody welcome to my little tutorial for the four bar solo that Danny Seraphine does at the end of make me smile very this is very much now over the years part of the song and people can kind of air drum it when you're playing this song with you in their own way they can do this kind of thing right and they're familiar with it Danny created a four bar little phrase that has gotten bigger than itself and what I'm going to show you he does it a little bit differently now than he actually played on the recording and I'm going to kind of even some of the recording it's hard to tell exactly what he's doing with the Tom Tom and I'm not one I'm, I'm not one more about the rhythms as I am about getting everything every nuance correct because some of it you know you're going to interpret as you do it but let's get the basics of this down because it's a really cool little four bar solo it's got some cool little nuggets of technique and it'll make you a better player so we're starting here. I'm going to play this match grip for the moment, and uh, I'm going to use the button on my stick. I like doing that, by the way, only because, especially when I'm doing rock tunes, it gives me a little fatter sound on my snare, and occasionally, because I'm 62, I get a little weakness in my right hand. Remember, I'm left-handed, so I'm going to start this stuff with my left hand. You'll do the reverse of me, okay? And I'm going to post sticking and all sorts of stuff around me, okay? So, when, when it's applicable, not sticking on everything. So the first bar easiest bar of the bunch. There's four bars, they, they get progressively harder as we go, and the very first bar is one, two, three, that's kind of what he does on the record. Bar two, a little harder. Now this is open to a little interpretation. Uh, Beats one and two are 16 note triplets. I believe when Danny originally did this, it sounds like um, single strokes that he's doing. Danny Seraphine had incredibly fast single strokes. He was blistering. I'm not that quick. I don't think I ever was. So I do this generally as a six stroke roll. I'm going to show you both ways because we're going to go slow. It's very simple. It's the just beats one and two, you're going to start this with the right hand, I'm going to show this with my left. It's one and two, a little accent at the end. All right? Or you can do this like I do it, as a six stroke roll. You could go left, right, right, left, left, right, left. I'm posting that up here. Or you could go right, left, left, right, right, left, right. That's the right-handed way. I'm going to show you both. So I do it this way. Left hand again. Here's the right-handed way. 
Either way is fine. Single strokes, the right handed six stroke roll, whatever works for you. Part two of that bar is he does throw toms in there, and to be honest with you, I'm not exactly sure where he throws them. I know I got my way of doing it. I start with the tom because I was up there, and it's and a three e and a four e n. Okay, and you can throw tom mixes in there. I often do this. I do that a lot. I don't always do it when I do this song. That's bar two. Let's put those two bars together. That's the first two bars. Right now it's not familiar. Now it's familiar. Let's go to bar three. Okay. This where it gets, starts to get a little tricky. Now if you're right-handed, you can go right, right, left. If you're left-handed, you can go left, left, right. Watch. I'm going to go left, left, right. It's a phrases of three over a four note grouping 16th note pattern. So it's, I'm going to go nice and slow and quiet and then we'll, we'll pick up speed. Here we go. It's one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and If you're going, if you're playing this right handed and you're going down the other way, you would do it, you know, uh, right, right, left. You wouldn't lead with your left, you would lead with your right. But it's the same figure, one more time. Right? The final figure, toughest one for me. Because I, I tried to do this in single strokes because it just sounds better. I, I guess you can use double strokes if you want, that would be okay. But he's pretty much, it's very simple uh, as far as the mechanics, but it is blistering. It is blistering. Here we go. He starts with one on the floor, Tom, right? Let's do the hands first. Right now, now he stops on four. On the record, I think he goes all the way through. I've been stopping on four. Uh, right? Now, what makes this really cool is he keeps that bass drum on the eighth notes. So listen. Speed. And single strokes, I think I can push it, push it when I'm playing with the record, but it's hard to do it otherwise, but that's the idea. So let's put those all together. Are you ready? Kind of up to tempo, so you can kind of hear it, okay? And then we'll go to the drum cover. I, lo I love this song, by the way. Um, there's a couple of songs that are just my favorite Chicago songs of all time. This, Beginnings, um, and you know, even though I've, I've played 250624 a kajillion times, I just love that song. I love that song. So simple and beautiful. Okay, here we go. Four bar solo. Work this out, you'll, you'll, your technique will get better. Here we go. See you on the next one. Join me on the drum cover. We're going to do about three or four lessons, and hopefully I'll talk to Annie because I know him. Got his picture posted all the way through this thing. Yes, we play the show together. Maybe to come on for an interview. I don't know. He might say no. Anyway, we're opening it up with this, my favorite song. See you on the next one, guys. Enjoy the cover.
last tune. One place I screwed up badly. The other, we just leave it in. We just leave it in. That was uh, take four, actually, on that. And a little rehearsal. Anyway, thank you, Danny Seraphine, for what you've given us over the years. We're going to do a little thing on you over the next couple of weeks. Maybe you'll come and have an interview with me via Zoom or give me a call. I got an idea. I got an idea. All right. See you guys on the